Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2003 Jaguar X-Type. It's got the 2.1 litre V6 engine, which is a beautiful, smooth little V6, coupled with the five-speed automatic transmission. It is very reliable because it's actually built on a Ford. Uh, that really is a good thing. The Jaguar X-Type was quite literally the most reliable Jaguar to come out of Jaguar. It had the least amount of warranty claims. And if you speak to anyone who's owned an X-Type, I'm sure they'll tell you how very reliable they are. I've had two people this year actually trade in their X-Types. Uh, one had 270,000 kilometres. Another one had 200 and. 25,000 kilometres, both traded on 50 and 80,000 kilometre cars. And the reason why they've, they've bought the lower kilometre car is not because they necessarily had problems, it's because a car like this with 50,000 kilometres is such good value. And um, they've had their cars for a long time with no issues. So if they buy a car like this with 50,000 kilometres, they've got 150, 200,000 kilometres to go. Uh, it's got two original remote keys, which is great. The little 2.1 litre V6 is actually a front wheel drive, uh, which is also good because you're saving, um, you're saving fuel compared to the all wheel drive. Um, surprisingly, the all wheel drive does use quite a bit more fuel than the two wheel drive. It's got parking sensors, comes this beautiful champagne colour. It does have a spare wheel, which is great. Unlike BMWs and other manufacturers, it doesn't have run flats. And another good thing about this Jaguar is although it's built on a Ford, it looks like a Jaguar. It's got a very nice shape to it. And for a lot of people, a much nicer shape compared to the newer XJ and XF series. If you go online, it wouldn't hurt to have a bit of a look, maybe even put kilometres high to low for a bit of a laugh. I'm sure you'll see cars like this with over 300,000 kilometres. A lot of people, um, when they think Jaguar, they think reliability or lack thereof. Uh, but they're thinking about cars from the 60s, 70s and 80s, which you know, did have electrical problems. One of the best things Jaguar ever did was get Ford or GM involved. Like the mid-90s Jaguar XJ6s are also regarded as very, very reliable cars. And I've seen those with the 3.2 and 4 litre straight six engines with over 400,000 kilometres. Uh, the straight sixes were more reliable than the V8s. The V8s did have their fair share of issues with their timing chain tensioners and things but anyway getting back to the x-type if you're looking for a very good example of a jaguar x-type with very low kilometers for around ten to eleven thousand dollars this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at If you have any specific questions you can give us a call we're contacts born 02 we're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney, CBD and the airport and offer in-house finance. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We do look forward to hearing from you soon.